So, Gloria America Reeves Poe, you were telling us the other day about the birth of your very first niece, Janice. Please tell us your memory of her birth. Oh, I remember that so well. Uh, my mother went to Nashville to be with Janice, mm -hmm. I mean to be with Lois for the birth of her first child. And then she sent me to her mother in Fayetteville, Tennessee. I was 13 years old and I was in Fayetteville, Tennessee having fun with my cousins there. And we got the word that the baby had come and it was a girl and her name was Janice. <laughs> and I'll, immediately I ran through the streets down to my cousin's house to announce that now I was an aunt. Mm -hmm. I had something on them. They could not be an aunt because they didn't have anybody who was old enough to have <laughs> a baby. So I was the first one in the family to be an aunt, <laughs> and I was very proud. In your, with all of your cousins? Yes. Yes. Okay, and um, now, let's, uh, that's the memory of Janice. Let's skip forward, and do you remember when Michelle was born, her I, second? I certainly do. When Michelle was born, we were sitting in the living room one, one Saturday, I think it was, in in June, and my mother, my father, and I, and the telephone rang. And my father went to the phone, and he said hello, and he talked, and he got off, and he said that it was a telephone telegram, and they said that the new baby was a girl, and her name was Michael. <laughs> now, I, since then, I've understood that perhaps the per Michelle was kind of a new name at the time, and I think perhaps the the person delivering the telegram really didn't know how to pronounce it, and uh, he thought that that was the correct way to pronounce it. M I C H E L L E was Michael, <laughs> so we were confused. It, was it a girl or a boy? If it was a girl, why did they name it Night Michael? But we soon got all that straightened out. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And now I understand that you might not have as much memory of Louis, the youngest and the only boy, but tell us what you do remember. Well, of course, the main thing that I remember was uh, he was born on New Year's Day. I mean, that was always a big thing, especially back then. Uh, the person, a person born on New Year's Day, often was in featured in the mm -hmm. newspaper. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, he was actually born on New Year's night, so there had been several babies born before oh. him, so he didn't get to be the very first. Okay. <laughs> now, um, this is again the story of Lois, but part of the story of Lois is of her three. Uh, offspring, and of course her husband Sylvester. So um, let's describe uh, what you remember of Sylvester. I have fond memories of uh, my uncle Sylvester. Please describe uh, what type of person he was and about his gardening and I remember his strawberry wine that he made, <laughs> mm, yum yum, and all those fresh vegetables and he was just such a, a wonderful person. No. Please describe him. Well, I first met Sylvester uh, in 1947, Christmas of 1947. Uh, he and Lois were already engaged, and he came to visit, to meet the family. Uh, and that's my first memory of Sylvester. And at the time, I was a silly, uh, I guess it was 13, 12, 12-year-old. 12 I was a silly 12-year-old, and I didn't know what to, what to say or what to, what to do or how to act. Uh, but I remember Sylvester very well, and uh, uh, I always felt like he was a very good husband uh, for my sister, and he was always very kind to me. My mo most uh, memory that I remember most was going to the grocery store. Uh, sometimes I would spend time in Nashville with Lois and Sylvester, and uh, we always shopped for groceries on Saturday. And he would always go to the grocery store. They, she would divide the list up, and he would get half of the stuff on the list, and so she and I would pick up the other half oh. of the list. Spend that quality time with each other. Isn't that nice? And now, what do you remember of Janice, your first niece? Mm. And um, you can describe even as an adult, you know, her, her high school. I know she was the homecoming queen. I was so proud of my cousin Janice who, and my cousin Sandra too on the other side. I had two homecoming queens in my oh. family. Well, yeah, I remember, of uh, course, I remember Janice from the time. 
you know, I used to keep Janice and Michelle in the summertime a lot uh, when I was a teenager. And, um, and Lois would be going to summer school or she'd be teaching summer school somewhere. Or every summer she had to do something. And so most every summer I would go to Nashville and take care of Janice and Michelle. Oh. Uh, so I remember, I remember Janice very well, and she she always had a little deep voice, you know, like that. <laughs> and, and I remember, uh, I rem one incident I re remember so much is that, you know, Janice was older than Michelle, and and uh, they were playing outside, and uh, they were playing with their dolls, and uh, Janice was saying, "My doll is going to the playground." And Michelle said, and my doll is going. Janet says, and your doll is going. <laughs> the, the older sister told the younger sister what was going to happen. Right. That's how that yeah. goes. Yeah, it was always like that. And Janice, uh, Michelle would That's say, my doll. And, Mich and Janice would cut her off and say, your doll. <laughs> My um, that's Ryan. That's Ryan and Sydney all over again. Mm -hmm. And now, what about Lewis? Do you remember much about Lewis? Now you know, I really don't remember much about Lewis because actually, uh, I was grown when he was born. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, uh, I, I, I went to summer school the summer before he was born, and that's when I met Booker. The first first time my sister put on her maternity dress was because. Gloria's boyfriend was coming for dinner uh, on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. And my sister said, I think it's about time I put on a maternity dress. So, <laughs> so that's that. See, see, that's another Janice and Michelle right there. Lois and Gloria. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Ryan and Sydney, the older sister. But, sister. but uh, I do remember Lois as a little, little boy. I remember him as a toddler. When I got married, he was about, uh, I'd say, 18 months maybe. 16 months, something like that, uh, old, and uh, so he was toddling, he was walking, and we were so afraid he was going to fall off the porch, because we had a real high uh, back porch, um, I mean front porch, and uh, I remember that. Now what were, uh, one last thing I would like to have you share uh, with us all, are just, uh, you know, we've come such a long way as uh, people of um, West African descent, and um, can you talk a little bit about what segregation was like as we close out, and what it was like living in those times? Maybe for you, it was something that was just normal. I don't know, yes, but I'd like you to know, hear. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, you never thought much about it, and yet, yet we did talk about it from time to time. Ah. Uh, but, you know, the black people just lived, and we lived in our neighborhood. We had our churches. We, 